this is Anne from Wonderstrange.com and I'm going to show you how to remove the face from a plastic doll so that you can use it for jewelry or assemblage art or whatever you want to use it for. You see these a lot in flea markets. Usually they're wearing like a festive dress. Sometimes they are the dolls of many countries. And <clears throat> they're pretty cheap and easy to find. All of their limbs are held on by rubber bands, as is the head held, as you can see, to that plastic piece. So to decapitate them, it's quite simple. You just take a pair of scissors and snip the rubber band. Okay, un voila. Get the body and the necklace out of the way. Now you have a head. And you're going to be ripping off the hair, which is glued down with a fairly stubborn glue. You'll have to do some ripping. But a point will come at which you can't rip anymore, and that's okay. Do not panic. Ah! Ah! Okay. So we're going to soak her in just a minute and get that off of her. But first, we're going to do what we need to do in order to separate her face from the back of her head. Because if we try to use her face on a piece of jewelry, it's going to be super, super bulky. So I'm going to take my needle nose pliers arr, 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 and I'm going to grab hold of the plastic piece that's here in the middle and I'm just going to break it. So I'm just going to twist my needle nose pliers and you heard it break. It breaks pretty easily. And now I'm going to take my needle nose pliers. I'm going to put them inside her neck and I'm just, oops, I'm going to drop it. I'm just going to use them to pry her head apart. I need to use a reasonable amount of force here. And then her head will pop open. Okay, now inside you can see her eye assembly. For the moment, I'm going to take that out. It just slips right out. Okay, those are her eyes with their little weights in the back. I'm going to set that aside. Take the back of her head. I don't need that. Now I've got just this eyeless head with this gross hair on it. So this is very simple. I'm just going to take a bowl. I'm going to put like two drops of dishwashing liquid in it, and I'm going to fill the bowl with the hottest water I can. Not boiling water, but hot tap water. And then you're just going to soak this for about 10 minutes. And when you get it out of the hot water, it will magically look like this. The glue will be soft, and you can just peel off her hair with your fingernail. And then you are going to be able to um, use the head either with or without the eye assembly here. So you can have her on a bracelet like that or with blank eyes, whatever makes you happy. If you are a crocheter, I have instructions here uh, in the, this post to make a sort of a cameo shape so that you can fit her to the shape. Okay, if you're not a crocheter, you can do this same thing with felt. Um, and if you're a jewelry maker, you can probably build something with metal and resin and have all kinds of fun. But in the meantime, in order to attach the head to felt or crochet or whatever it is you're going to use, you're going to need to drill your head. So I just want to show you that real quick, what that looks like. Okay, so... We are going to drill holes into our doll's head, and I just want to say a couple of words about the drill in brief. You'll notice I have pulled out this ugly, scraggly piece of wood with holes in it. You should always drill into something or on something like this, not on your you know, grandmother's 275-year-old um, dining room table. You should also be careful not to hold the doll's head like this while you're drilling, because then you're going to drill right into your thumb. And you know what it's not going to feel? Good! not going to feel good, so don't do that. So instead, you see there are three points at which I'm going to drill, and I've marked them with a dry erase marker, which means that if I lick my finger and wipe it over that, it'll wipe right off. So we're going to drill below the ears and roughly in the center of the head. Now, um, off camera, I just wrecked a head, so you want to be sure don't drill too close to the edge of the head or you will make a big hole that opens right off and your head won't be usable, at least for this purpose. So, you want to pick a bit size that is going to be a little bit larger than the needle you're going to use um, to go in and out of the hole. So I'm using a tapestry needle, so I'm using a little bit of a larger bit. 
I'm gonna start up here on the top of the head and I'm gonna start off fairly slowly so that I give my drill time to catch. And I'm actually gonna go a tiny bit in from that dot, just a tiny bit. Nice and slow. Little bits of plastic are beginning to come up. But this is not a part I wanna rush. I'm gonna increase my pressure a little bit. Oops. And a little more. The plastic is a flying. There we go. Now because I was holding it on the outside, there was no chance of drilling into my fingers there. I've got a little bit of leftover plastic that's trying to cling, cling on for dear life, so I'm just gonna slip this back in. And make a semi-obscene gesture there so that I get my hole cleared out for me to go in and out of. And then I'm, whoop. Just gonna repeat that same process, again, taking care that my fingers are not in the way of the drill. Okay, we got a good hole there. And so finally, that hole's just about come off, but that's all right, I don't need it. Okay, so now I have my three holes there. And that means that I can put this head onto my base and use it for my bracelet. So that's how you get a face off of a doll and onto a base of some kind so that you can use it for your own wonderfully nefarious purposes. Thanks for watching.